Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to take a look at this uh, Blueprint uh, package which is inside the blueprint.laravelshift.com so you can find there code generation for Laravel developers. This uh, package is going to help us to create, to generate the code or the scaffold for our project very uh, quickly. So let's go and get started. Uh, for that uh, I have created a project and let me just open that project which is right here so in the app models I have only the user which comes with Laravel also on the controllers I have the profile controller which uh, comes with the breeze because I have installed also breeze request the profile update request and so on also on the database we have migrations and here we have only the users cache and jobs Okay, now let's go and uh, see on that Blueprint. So Blueprint is an open source tool for rapidly generating multiple Laravel components from a single human readable definition. Blueprint has uh, two driving principles, increase the development speed, what we need and promote Laravel conventions, which is really good. Let's go to installation and we need to copy this command which i have done and run that in your uh, project so navigate to your project and run that here and i'm going to open also the blueprint so let's open the blueprint.test here yes here is the project and we can uh, register and so on okay Let's go back and after we install, what we need is uh, first we have generating components. We can run the blueprint build, but first let's run the blueprint new to create uh, the draft.yaml file. Or we can create manually. So, yeah, by default, the blueprint build command attempts to load the draft.yaml file. You can we can create here directly in this one so let's just say new file and we can name it uh, draft dot yaml file like this and then here we can uh, structure our, pro our project or our app how we want what we need for example for the models and uh, controllers and so on or if you don't want to create yourself you can just run the uh, let's see blueprint new i think is if we scroll down yeah it's a blueprint new but we need to find that where it is have a command build yeah blueprint includes a blueprint new command this command may be helpful when you want to start using blueprint within your project the blueprint new command will generate the draft yaml file with stops for the models and controllers section so let's go and delete this and now if we run the blueprint new so let's open the terminal and let's say php artisan or in, in my case just art and blueprint colon new hit enter now created the example the draft yaml file and let's see let's come here and here we have that with models and controllers okay now let's go and see how we can use the so defining models we have here for example post with a comment post, title to be string also here 400 content long text have published out to be new label and also timestamp let's copy them and let's paste in models okay then you can read more it's going to generate the uh, models and migration so if i save this and just open the terminal and run the artisan blueprint build and yeah it's going to create the post factory comment factory uh, post migration comments migration post model and comment model 
let's see let's go on the app models we have a comment and now you can see here uh, let's close this we have the use as factory here protected content and published art because we added here content and published art when we have protected available content and publish art which is very uh, useful we have also protected cast id is an integer and published art is timestamp what we need then go to post on the post also has factory uh, protected fillable title content and published at the same with the id and published at is a timestamp okay let's see more because uh, this package can do more for us very and very quickly so uh, we can go to types and modifiers we can go to keys and indexes but i want to go to relationships just because i don't want to uh, see all them in this video because it's going to be long so for, so for relationships we have for example as many we can define here relationships and for the comment as many comment and let's do that let's copy this and let's go on the post model after this one we can define our relationships and we can say the has many relationship with the comment also for the comment we can say a relationship belongs now this is belongs to here also as you can see we have the belong to relationship and let's do that this one now is going to be post we can save and now let's see if i run the sorry build again it's going to create the same uh, components but it's going to update the models let's see let's open the post model we have the fillable we have a cast but we have public function comments has many or return type and return this has many uh, comment class also if i go to comment the same thing we have here now the belongs to and as you can see also on the protected cast has added the post id integer with if we go now on the database migrations and comments we have also here the foraging id post id okay let's go back and let's see what others we can what other we can do we have shorthand uh generating seeders if you want you can generate seeder so let's add also here seeders for post and comment open this uh, and after the we to create seeders for post and comment and we have a controllers here if we go to define controllers so for example we can define the post controller with the index create and store i'm going to copy this and let's open on the controllers and put that so it's going to create a post controller with method index and here first we are going to query all the posts and we are at the render post index with post as you can see and also on the create we are going to render the post create we don't have the files on the store we have also validation validate the title and the content save the post and redirect the post index let's see also let me just uh, do the same thing for the comment so i'm going to copy this and add also the comment okay and let's run the build uh i think we have an error here we have an indentation problem and now let's run again and yes we have here all what we need we have the controller post controller comment controller post factory comment factory tables uh models 
seeders and the test post controller test comment controller test we have the post store request we have the index blade created we have the create blade created we have the show blade inside the comment what we need we define here and then we run down the build command and it's going to generate every component we need so if i open here this is um, very helpful we have a comment what we had before okay but now if i go to controllers we have the comment controller with the show because here we just say show and they're under the comment show with comment now if you can see we have show method passing the request here and also binding the comment return type is view render uh, return here the view comment dot show compact comment that's it next we have the uh, post controller we have here the index passing the request return type is view get all the posts and pass the post on the post index we have the create post create here returning the view post create we have the store injecting here the post store request redirect response and then get the post so post create request validated and then return a redirect to the route post.index now here as you can see we have an underline because the route post index is not found not found because we need to uh, register that route but for the code i think we we are very good here let's go down to resources views we have here post the index and as you can see is an example here we have the create which is the same thing then we have components uh, so, sorry comment and here we have the show and here you can do what you want also what we need is to register the routes for the code we have generated so we define here the models which also is going to have the uh, fields here what fields we need for the model which is going to generate the model is going to generate the migration is going to also update the model with the relationship if you define here for the seeders also for the controllers we define the method the query the render with posts as you can see and just what you need is to register the routes and update the views okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much